Hello friends, in this video we will discuss problem number 3 on mathematical induction. Welcome back friends, let us discuss problem number 3 exactly similar to problem number 1 and 2 therefore all the things are as it is we just need to fill the things and get the result and if you are comfortable with the uh, problem number 1 and 2 I highly recommend you pause this video solve the problem by yourself and you can verify the result so let us start a problem is given 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus dot 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 the generalized term is 4n minus 3 so first of all let p of n is the given statement plus dot 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 plus 4n minus 3 that is equal to n into 2n minus 1 what next term? we need to prove that pn is true for now let me take n is equal to 1 since it is not given i'm assuming n is equal to 1 because generally we take n because n uh, n is equal to 1 generally uh, satisfies the criteria so if i'll take n is equal to 1 lhs is equal to here i'm going to put n is equal to 1 i'm going to put in the generalized term so if i'll put n is equal to 1 so that will become 4 minus 3 that is 1 and if i'll put in rhs this is 1 this is 2 minus 1 again that is 1 so in short lhs is equal to rhs therefore the statement is true for n is equal to 1 next we will assume that the statement is true for n is equal to k so p of k 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus dot 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 plus 4k minus 3 see here 4k minus 3 on right hand side it will be k into 2k minus 1 next we need to prove that the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1 so let me write down n is equal to k plus 1 so this will be 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus dot 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 what uh, i need to replace n with k plus 1 so here i'm going to replace n with k plus 1 so this will become 4 k plus 1 this n i'm going to replace with k plus 1 now please tell me what will be the previous term so there is a difference of 4 no need to calculate no need to find it out obviously it has to be this particular term no need to check because anyhow we are going to use equation number 1 to get the result so by default closing eyes you can write it on the same statement it has to be this statement this one which is equal to on right hand side if I replace k plus 1 so this will be k plus 1 k plus 1 and if I replace in place of n k plus 1 so that will become 2 k plus 1 minus 1 so in short this is k plus 1 on right hand side and 2k plus 2 minus 1 that means 2k plus 1 So let me prove LHS is equal to 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus dot 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 plus 4k minus 3 plus and what about this particular term? This term is 4k plus 4 minus 3. So in short 4k plus 1. 4k plus 4 minus 3. So that is a 4k plus 1. So which is equal to from equation number 1 till this particular uh, uh, term. This is equal to what? K 2k minus 1 and this term will remain as it is. We just need to simplify it. We just need to simplify it and we're going to get this. So let us start. So open the bracket. This will be 2k square minus k plus 4k plus 1. So this is 2k square plus 3k plus 1. Now this is a simple quadratic equation. If you find its root or put in the calculator you to get the roots and you're going to get this roots. That's it story over so this will be equal to rhs lhs equal to rhs statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1 it is true for all n greater than equal to 1 that's it we're done with the problem hope you understood thank you for watching this video take care